Uh, my name is Peter Bernie with AV Shirts. We're here with Bob Stewart from Meridian Audio. Bob, how are you? All right, thank you. You've come up with this really new hot product, MQA. Very exciting. Is that from your mind, or did you have a design team help you with that? I'd say it's a joint effort. Effort of a team, but a small team. Yeah. Actually, the same team that did MLP, the lossless compression system that's used on Blu ray. And yeah, Blu -ray that's right. Oh, wow, very cool. That's right. Very cool. So that little team, they're we, the, we're the best in the business. Oh, no, there's no doubt about it. This, yeah. So, how long did it take you to bring this to market? How long like all my life. Oh, wow, okay. Well, you know, Good answer. Well, it's one answer, but it's a trite answer. But we've been working on it really hard since, you know, for at least 10 years because. The, the problem we're solving is the problem of digital audio, the problems that it has in it, the why is high resolution, so high sample rates, important, that sort of thing. So, so in, looking, in looking into that, it, it, the things that were going wrong, was it needed a fundamental reinvention of digital audio. So yeah, it took a while. And then when we had the answer, it took quite a bit of time to summon up the courage to get on with it. <laughs> the courage because, to do it. Because, you know, we're taking on a whole battle here. But actually, yes, people just love it. I mean, they just love it. They really love it. Well, good. Well, we look forward to hearing a demonstration of it. I wanted the viewers to meet you uh, face to face. That'll be fine. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for being in the business of bringing so much great music and technology into all of our this lives. This is what it's about. It's yeah. bringing the music yeah. out of the archive. This great sound of the art. There's nothing better we can do. That's it. Well, thank you for being here. All right. Okay. Thank you. Good. I'm Peter Bruninger with AV Showrooms, and your name is? Brad O'Toole. Hi, Brad. How are you? Good. Good to see you, Peter. We're here for a 10 o'clock demo with a lot of attendees here at THE Show for MQA. Great. Great. So what we're talking about today is we're demonstrating MQA on a Meridian system. And the Meridian system, I'm just going to explain briefly so you know what you're listening to as far as the hardware goes. These speakers are the 7200 SE loudspeakers. They are a special kind of speaker. As you see, there's nothing stacked in between here. It's actually all internal in the speaker. So you have four mono blocks internally. You have four DACs. You have a preamp in there. So essentially you can plug a CD digital output into the speaker and you have a complete system. So it's a very unique way of addressing a lot of the issues in speakers. For instance, bass management, we have total control of that. So <clears throat> certain bass signals go faster than the high frequency, so you have to put the high frequency, excuse me, the high frequency go faster, so you have to put the tweeter back, you see that physically in a lot of speakers, they're sloped. Here, the, the bass may need to be 30 feet back in order to actually get it correct. We can do that with this speaker. So you're going to hear some very tight, clean bottom end bass out of the system. And that's why. He wants to be close to process is to go back and recapture the data off of the original file, whether it be analog or digital, in a new way. And it's a total ecosystem with MQA. It's not just a way of delivery, it's not just a way of actually hearing it, it's not just a way of recording it, it's all of that. So from the capturing at the microphone all the way to the listening experience, MQA is involved in that process. And the, the idea behind it was, first of all, to recapture these beautiful analog original recordings from the 50s in a new way, which what we can do is we can actually drill what we call drill back to the microphone. We can eliminate the pollution that's in the recording chain from that original tape. So we can go back and measure the equipment, send a tone through it essentially, measure input-output, and we know what's pollution, what's, what the machine added to that or the soundboard added to it that was wrong or just additional noise. And we can take that out now. We have the technology in the digital world to do that. So we did. And the results were amazing. And the, the recording engineers and, 
and artists, in the case of those that are still alive, heard it and are really excited about it and have given us these files on loan so we can share them with you today so you can hear it. The second thing after we've got this beautiful quality is, great, we've got this huge file. So how do we make it usable? So we had to come up with a way of transmitting that. And there's a whole method behind that, but essentially what we've done is we've made timing the most important element in the compression scheme. Your brain is much more sensitive to timing than it is frequency. And so everybody's focused on frequency. We focused on timing and actually were able to get a much more realistic sound out of it by doing that because your brain recognizes this as being correct. There's a whole thing we can go in about that, but I'm not going to. But essentially, we're folding up a piece of paper, sending it across, and then unfolding it. So if nothing's missing. That's how, essentially, we call it audio origami. There's a 15-page article in Absolute Sound currently. You can read about that. There are many papers online how we do that. And the final thing after making quality and convenience is compatibility. So if you have a file, if it's you downloaded, let's say, a high def file or a DXD or DSD or all these files that exist out there, you couldn't necessarily take it from your home system and put it in your car. This file is backward compatible. It'll play on anything that you own already. It'll also be able to stream to this. So you can put it in your car. You can get it on your satellite radio. Um, you can do whatever sound is involved with. It can do this. Now, you're limited by the machine, obviously. This can do 44K. This can do 700 and something K. So the DACs themselves limited. But it can be software unfolded, it can be hardware unfolded. It's completely com backward compatible. So, could, could it? Uh, could you uh, uh, partner with Cirrus? And because we're so, we're so limited with internet radio, yes. with low bit rates. Yeah. Would this technology apply to approaching them and then mm -hmm. having them have a higher bit rate file that you could use your compression scheme? They could. You could fold it up. They could broadcast it throughout the airwaves and then have it unfolded at the automobiles. Uh, yes. Uh, that would be like Isn't that groundbreaking. Absolutely. That's where you really could make a big difference. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it may even be a lower bandwidth. Yeah. yeah. So it's, uh, I don't know exactly how they do that, but it's, it's totally doable. Well, I'll tell you guys, from a business standpoint, that's where I'd be looking to go. Because yes. that's got, I mean, they have a lot of capital behind them. A lot of people, and consumers, are frustrated with the sound quality of uh, internet radio. Oh, yes. Man, that's the place for this. Yes. This is yes. cool stuff. Yeah, I'll tell you a little side story. I used my Explorer DAC and my computer with MQ files and plugged it into my car. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal. So, wow. The, the system is actually there. Okay, cool. Um, so, that will be exciting when that <laughs> happens. The This is not something that, it's a really good point, this is not limited to Meridian. Uh, the founder of Meridian, Bob Stewart, co-founded MQA uh, with his, the original team he did Meridian Lossless Processing with. That team has created this. That sits separate from Meridian. So today, this is Meridian presenting you with MQA, but it's not MQA necessarily. So we would love to see next year at this time at the Newport Show, everybody playing the MQA files with their own DACs, their own, that's how this is going to work. So, yeah, satellite radio on board, anybody that streams music can be on board. Mm -hmm. yeah. Matter of fact, I'm going to do that right now. So, this is the first time we're doing this in the public. Uh, we're just demonstrating one song that you can, this is a peek into the future. Uh, we're using Tidal, who has openly announced that all their high def will be streamed with MQA. And so, this is Roberta Flax, Killing Me Softly, coming from Oslo, Norway. In the other
being a music lover, I apologize for sh shutting them off short. But I want you to get some samples in the time that we have. So, again, that was transmitted from Oslo, Norway, uh, via the hotel internet. I didn't even buy the higher data rate. That's the free internet at the hotel, just to give the worst case scenario of the internet connection. And uh, when I push play, about a second, it was up and running. So. Uh, you probably saw it. It read 192 over there. So that was very impressive. That was actually more impressive than the, than the Frank Sinatra. Oh, good. Yeah. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It's very, it's beautiful how she just comes into the room. Yeah. yeah. And and the inflection in her voice and the way that it's presented and the emotion that's there is really cool. Yeah. Now I, I'll cut this off if you don't want me to broadcast this uh, to public. But Peter McGrath was just in. And uh, he, uh, he's a recording engineer that a lot of people know. He's based yes. in Florida. He's a good friend. Yeah, and uh, Peter, uh, I've heard a lot of his recordings uh, uh, directly off of uh, you know the thumb drives and stuff that he takes to the shows and, and his demonstrations for Wilson Audio. Yeah. And I just passed him leaving this demonstration, and he said, my gosh, this is just, it's, it's amazing. And I said, well, I, I tried to ask you both, what's going on here? Okay. And, and uh, I, he said, well, they're, they're mapping back. So I said, did you give them the original recording? He said, no, they took my file and mapped it back. Mm -hmm. How does that work? Uh, they send a, I mean, if they have his DAC, they send a tone through it. If they don't have his DAC, they, they map it according to what they know about what he had. So they have tools in the process that actually allow them to replicate what was in the so Peter could just say, well, I had that, I had this, I had this in the recording chain, and then the guy who was doing the demonstration for Peter would go, oh, I know about what that sounds like, and then probably has some right. type of uh, uh, profile. Right. That, so that, that would be the mapping back. Right. So what That's we, impressive. What we demonstrated today is not as perfect as it could be, mm -hmm. but it's really close. Mm -hmm. He was yeah. very impressed. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. were all crying to his recordings. Yeah, cool. Which doesn't happen very often. That's good. Mm -hmm. So, you know, good things to look forward to. Uh, the recording engineers are excited by what they're hearing. Peter's a great example in this industry of something yeah. that everyone knows that yeah. has amazing recordings. Yeah. Can I keep that in the tape? Is that okay? As far as I know. Good. Of course. Good. Perfect. Thank you. It's a very, very compelling demo. There's been a lot of people with uh, uh, Dowling Thomases out there about yes. what you guys are doing. and. Uh, I think you're going to answer a lot of questions uh, for a lot of people with this. Very well, good. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very, very good. much, Peter, very for coming good. in and doing this. Yeah, very thank you very show. much. Very thank impressive. You. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thanks.